There is not always an easy, obvious location for a bridge to be placed. Where transportation engineers end up placing them is usually dictated by cost. It is far more expensive to build a roadway over water than it is over land, so bridge placement is often a function of where the channel is easiest to cross with a structure within reason so that the bridge is still convenient to drivers. The most sustainable bridge location will be the one that requires the least amount of construction and saves motorists the most time and distance. This also means less fuel consumed and less harmful emissions released. Another sustainability concept related to bridge design is scour. Scour occurs when channel material around bridge abutments and piers is removed due to the hydraulic change the bridge has on the waterway. A given waterway has a flow rate of Q both upstream and downstream of a bridge. Q is a product of area and velocity, so when area decreases, velocity increases. Swiftly moving water will remove more sediment around abutments and piers, resulting in local scour around these supports. Scour holes can also develop downstream of a structure from a more advanced hydraulic concept called wake vortex, which I do not have the artistic capability to demonstrate. Scour is ideally kept at a minimum to ensure sturdy bridge piers and to keep the channel the way it was before the bridge was built. Keeping a waterway open for boat traffic is important to economic and social sustainability. Bridges over busy shipping channels must provide enough horizontal and vertical clearance to allow uninterrupted channel traffic, and sometimes this requires the use of moving parts. Boat traffic also adds the risk of collision, so measures are taken to reduce and eliminate this problem. Charleston's Ravenel Bridge is founded on one acre rock islands, so any ships out of control will run aground instead of damaging the towers. Older bridges are often choke points for pedestrians and bicyclists. In urban areas where bicycling and walking are common, extra width should be designed into bridges to accommodate these more sustainable forms of transportation. A bridge is a valuable means of shortening a trip between two points, so all modes of transportation should take advantage of it. Sometimes a separate deck is even designed for bicyclists and pedestrians, or simply to separate two different directions of traffic, thus making the bridge safer. Like most civil engineering projects, highway bridges are most commonly built out of reinforced concrete or steel. Each material has its own advantages and disadvantages, and the question of which is more sustainable varies for each situation. For example, steel bridges exposed to water must be outfitted with some sort of corrosion control, whether it is simply paint or a cathodic protection system in salt water. Ease of maintenance and availability of local materials are other considerations that affect the sustainability of whatever choice is made. Worker safety is paramount to social sustainability of any construction project, and some bridges present unique challenges during this phase. Fortunately, safety is a much bigger issue now than it was even a few decades ago. Although many heavy construction jobs are carried out with the use of cranes and automated equipment, experienced workers must always be present to do some jobs. Riggers and iron workers move heavy loads under unpredictable conditions, and bridges are not the easiest things to build. Sometimes your crane is on a helicopter above, floating on a barge below, or sitting on the bridge itself. One of the world's most dangerous jobs is commercial diving, working on structures like bridges. Divers are sometimes required for work on the foundations, or to do welding and cutting of metal structure below water. If underwater welding does not sound challenging enough, extreme cold, depths, and flow make the job even more dangerous. In conclusion, a sustainable bridge will be intelligently designed, safely constructed, and properly utilized in a community. Sustainability is not typically associated with bridge construction, but many of the factors I discussed play a huge role in the overall sustainable value of these huge, helpful structures. Thanks for watching.